sales and closing them. Yep. Yeah, let's talk about that. It's something that our business owners, you know, there's a, there's a thought process at sales, are this scary piece? Yeah, most mm -hmm. uh, people <laughs> we uh, interact with that come into the Navigate community, yeah. they um, they want to grow their business, they want a better business, but oh, they don't want to do, do sales. sales. <laughs> <laughs> so as the head of sales in your business, um, you know, it's really important that you start to in, embrace the sales process yeah. um, right from um, you know, nurturing, going out, finding or identifying finding. your market size for a start. Mm -hmm. um, nurturing Who are those they? people, yep. bringing them in um, through to uh, you know imp um, improving their knowledge about what it is that you do, and you know, I guess um, building that tribe uh, and amongst your your business, and then ultimately closing the sale. Mm. So I guess you know, there's so many layers to this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's the social media, there's the um, connecting through LinkedIn, having a meeting and reaching out to somebody you've never met before. Yeah. Maybe you have somebody secure your leads to make appointments and you have to go and meet with them. So, you know, I think there's, there's a few things. You need, to, you need to really have a clear sales pitch. How do you speak about your business? Yep. Um, how do you speak about it that you address your customer's pain point? They don't care what, mm. who you are and what you're about. It's a care that you care about them. It's, the, it's an yeah, old saying, the old, you know. The ultimate pitch is not really a pitch. Um, you know, for me, uh, you know, if, if I'm going through that process, um, particularly getting closer in on the closing process, is really ultimately about does the person have a need for that product? Yeah. And is, Listening. is yeah. your product or is your service going to enhance their uh, their feeling or their life in some particular way. Yeah, you know, yeah. um, regardless of how big or small it is, you need to ho hone in on what yeah. that what that's going to do for them. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people, a lot of salespeople, bad salespeople, get focused on closing with urgency because what they, they need, want. that person, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. the salesperson needs, yeah. rather than focusing on what the client needs. Um, closing becomes a whole lot simpler when you know that the sooner they sign on the dotted line, the sooner they're gonna to get to some level of happiness above yep. where they are right now. You know, some level of fulfillment, some level of, level of satisfaction, mm -hmm. um, some level of efficiency, whatever yep. it is, that whatever pain point away. life that, mm. is, um, that your business is, is come from. You know, are you, is it a cafe where they've come in for a coffee, but you've gotta try the muffin because, oh, the muffins are delicious. <laughs> you know, wh yep. whatever it is, uh, you know, whatever part of the, of, of the uh, of, uh, you know, whatever business that you're in, you've got to go through and connect yep. with what it's going to make them feel like. And that's listening, right? It's mm. listening to the, the, the person, the prospect, the yep. customer, listening and hearing and watching how they're reacting. Yep. And so maybe you're providing them with the coffees you say, and they go, oh, this is so great. Hey, the chocolate muffin, it just yep. goes so well with this blend yep. of coffee, you know, to build that experience and that feeling. Or, you know, this widget complements mm. this really lovely, you know, this gives this level of um, feeling and expectation, yep. but this will just take it to the next level. Yep. So, yeah, it's being really aware and not, not, as you say, rushing to close because you just want to get that product sold. Yep. It's really making sure that you're hearing and listening to your customer. It's both those, right? It's yep. active listening and watching their body language, those sort of things. So it's a, you know, it's a, it might be a, a larger transaction, but really addressing and hearing what their pain points are and knowing confidently that your product will imp improve their situation. Asking lots of questions yep. and really listening to the answers and paying attention to um, the body language. Uh, if you're physically looking at someone, or um, you know the way that the, their voice is coming across if you're talking to someone, um, yeah, over the phone, etc. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really important that you're looking at those all of those little those little features, yeah, those little telltale mm -hmm. signs that they actually really get what the product will do for you. Because yeah. once you get to that point, then and you and you've um, you've picked up on that, you understand where they're where they're at. Well, then that's the time to ask for the order, yeah. and that's often the thing that is forgotten or, or is um, uh, really avoided, avoided by so many people yep. because they don't want to ask for the order. They're scared to ask for the order. However, you know, if the, if the person's gone through that process, mm. they're there, are you ready to buy yet? 
is this can you see this is the right product for you if the answer to that's no is go back through step what have you retraced. missed yeah why is it not is it you know is it um you know is it the price point is it the service proposition is it you know is it the backup service is it the quality of the product mm -hmm. now what go through and ask what is it what's the barrier now that's stopping you from purchasing this product these are really when you get comfortable with it these are really yeah, simple, simple questions, questions. Yeah. because you're doing it for the betterment of of the of the customer yeah. what is it that's going to make them feel better why you don't want them to make that purchase and feel worse afterwards so what is it about it that they're thinking that they won't feel good about making that purchase yeah. and i think uh, i know when when our clients are not comfortable to ask for the to close that or ask for the business they haven't done that due diligence they mm. haven't listened they don't necessarily have the full picture of the impact that this product's going to have for their prospect, right? So if you know deep inside that, oh, they've spoken about that, yes, we, we cover that. Spoken about that, we cover that. If you can have confidence that, the, converse, the, the, the ask is easy. Yeah, and, and I mean, yeah. a lot of salespeople and business owners go through the assumption of that the customer knows the things that you know, and often they don't. You need to go through, go through that journey, go through step by step mm -hmm. all of the things yeah. um, that they need to know to make a well-informed decision. Mm -hmm.